So hello everybody, I'm Olaf Kozolowski from TT Technalytics and welcome back to another video. Uh, and here we're going to do a little bit different than other match analysis videos because uh, I don't have so much time to review this match in its entirety. Plus I don't think it's very useful because as you will see there will be a lot of technical errors and if I dive into each one of those then I mean this video is just going to take forever. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, instead, I'm just going to give you like a tiny uh, prologue. Is that a word? Yeah, at least an introduction, sort of, of the match in which I will tell you the main storylines of what happened in that match. I even forgot to mention, I played a match in Belgium First League against, I think he was a seven-time Olympian, uh, Toriola Sigun. He's a Nigerian table tennis player. So uh, like an absolute legend of the sport, basically. If I'm not mistaken, seven is the record or the highest number of Olympic participations. So over 24 years span to be that elite, it's not easy to do. So I was very fortunate to play against him uh, and I was even more fortunate to beat him. So I'll just dive into the match a little bit before. And I want you guys to try to take a look yourself. See, like it's sort of an exercise, this video, for you. And you will see how... Uh, some of those points that I'm going to discuss now, how they come back in the match and if you can spot them. So to me in the match, it was my service. I basically could do what I want. But the problem in that hall was it was quite fast or the ball, it um, was gliding over the table quite a lot. So at some point it was very hard to keep my serve short. And that cost me a few points, some, some rough points, some uh, important points. And that was a, a bit unfortunate. So I had to work my way around that. Luckily, luckily it was not so good on my long serves. So I could take a little bit of advantage on those. Uh, furthermore, his forehand was unbelievable, honestly. It's, it surprised me because there were some balls where I really played a nice, good first ball, low, well-placed. And even then, when he was put under pressure, he still could do a counter spin. Something which, which occurs a lot with Nigerian players is yeah, their backhand is so par, but their forehand, yeah, they, they compensate for their backhand with their forehand. And he did that a lot. So my goal was to not just give him those easy balls in his forehand on which he could play counterspin, but instead try to vary as much as I can and knowing that probably the ball will still come back and I still had to be ready anyway. And then I think maybe the last point I think we should discuss was on his receive. Uh, on his serve, excuse me, where it was a little bit last minute for me to see what was going on, but I could read the serve nevertheless. So that was a, sort of an advantage for me. The problem was I, I couldn't always receive short when I wanted to. And once it was half long, then he came over the table with a good foreign topspin, point was over for me. So I had a few options, was or to come in with a banana flick, or with a half long, uh, if the serve came half long with a with an opening first ball, or I could receive short, or I could push, I could push long, because I felt quite safe when I just pushed long aggressive. Yeah, that played out well for me at the end. I, I managed to to sneak some points there through that, and that was yeah, those were like the main receives. And may, one thing maybe I, I I would add to that is the long push, the deceptive long push, like you go for a short forehand and at the end you switch and then you go for a long diagonal push um, to his backhand in this case because he's a right hander I'm a left hander and that was very effective a few times a few times so if you can spot those yeah good job for you plus I made a video on those so on those uh, long pushes and a sort of an explanation a tutorial on how to do those so I'll just leave a link uh, leave a link right now on the screen and hopefully you will see how effective those long pushes are even against a high level player like uh, Toriola. So now I'll just leave you be and you can watch, uh, watch the match yourself and see if you spotted something and if you did please leave them down below if you want to add on that onto that onto my little introduction then you can also do that because uh, please do or if you have any questions. So that's it for me now so I'll just say goodbye to you but now the video basically starts so have fun.
Hey. Uh, 